Hey bros, I'm Frank. In this video, I'm challenging the accuracy of nerf blasters. I think we've all run into that nerfer at some point who thinks he's a super elite sniper and can hit anybody at any range. But as I've mentioned in previous videos, nerf darts are somewhat limited in accuracy. No matter where you think you're going to shoot, it's probably not going to go there. So I'm going to test a few different projectiles to try to illustrate their flight path to determine whether or not you pointing your blaster at something has any effect whatsoever on you actually hitting what you're aiming at. I'll be testing Nerf Elite darts, Nerf Mega darts, Boomco darts, Nerf Rival rounds, and just for the lels, the Nerf missiles. Sure, there are other projectiles out there, but these are sort of the main ones. So let's get right into the test and then I'll tell you my opinion of these test results. First, the most ordinary Nerf projectile, the Nerf Elite Dart. Are they accurate? Not at all. You can only count on one thing when you shoot a Nerf Elite Dart. It's not going to go where you're pointing it. It's going to go somewhere around there. They curve randomly and it's very challenging to hit anything. That's why I always say Nerf Blasters are not accurate. Hopefully now with this illustration of the flight path, you see why I say that. Next, the Nerf Mega Dart. They're more accurate than the Nerf Elite Darts, but they're still not shooting in straight lines. Their arbitrary flight path similar to that of the Elite Dart makes them very challenging to, to be accurate. Next, the Nerf Rival Rounds. These things are awesome. They shoot laser beams. There's a very good chance the ball will land where you're actually pointing. Granted, with the current two blasters on the market, it's kind of difficult to, to maintain point of aim, especially with the Zeus with that super heavy trigger pull, but the projectile itself is very accurate. Next, the Boomco Darts. And I want to be clear, the trajectory test was not to see how hard it shoots. It's to see the flight path and more importantly the flight consistency amongst the darts. As you can see that the Boomco darts do arc a little bit because they aren't quite as powerful. You don't shoot quite as fast as the other blasters I tested. With that being said, however, look at the grouping. The trajectory is very predictable. Predictable is what you're going for and that's how you become accurate. If you know what the dart is going to do, even if it does arc, you can shoot somebody. Sure, you might have to lob it a little bit, but it's still going to go where you're trying to shoot it, so that's awesome. Not as awesome as the Nerf Rival Round, in my opinion, but, you know, it's more consistent than Nerf Elite Darts, for sure. Next, just for the lels, the Nerf Missile. Um, it arcs, and it's somewhat predictable, more accurate than the Nerf Elite Darts, but pretty much everything is. That's not saying much. <laughs> Keep in mind, the trajectories are all over the place, but shooting the missiles by hand is kind of odd, and it's ripe for human error, which is me just not holding the blaster perfectly still every time I fire it. The test was not trying to determine whether or not you can shoot like a sniper and right where the crosshairs are on your sight, you can hit. That's not what I was testing. That's all about the calibration and how the person uses the blaster. I was testing the trajectory and the consistency of the ammo. So with something like the missile, it's relatively consistent, more so than the Nerf Elite Dart, but I would personally want to hit somebody with the Nerf Elite Dart because it's a whole lot easier than trying to hold that blaster still as you're using the blasters that shoot the missiles. So what is the most accurate or consistent ammo that I tested in this video? In my opinion, the Nerf Rival Rounds. They're awesome. The biggest problem I see with people analyzing their own performance in a Nerf War is the, the selection bias that's just everywhere. Selection bias is when you have multiple results but you're only paying attention to what you want to pay attention to and that just completely skews your conclusions. Meaning if you take 10 shots and 9 of them miss and you finally hit them, you're like, oh, I was just aiming a little bit incorrectly. When in fact, you're aiming in the same position the darts were just going absolutely everywhere. What's the point of this video? It's mostly to shut the people up who are like, oh, I'm a sniper, I can shoot at 50 feet and hit people every single time. If you're using Nerf Elite darts, I don't care how good of a shooter you are, you cannot hit something every single time. That's a limitation on the ammo. I'm not insulting your performance or your ability to fire a Nerf Blaster at all. The ammo is limited. What's the solution to this? Uh, use a different type of ammo, like the Nerf Rival Round, or go full auto or semi-automatic flywheel master race and shoot a ton of elite darts. One of them's gonna hit your target. Probably other solutions out there, but those are mine. I like the rival rounds, I like semi and full auto, so I'll stick to these. Hopefully the illustration was helpful for you guys to see in a cool, colorful way of how nerf darts react in the air, and it was fun to make. So if you have any other tests you'd like me to run or whatever, leave a comment in the section below. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay tactical.